Hey guys, this is algae and it works up to 400 times more efficient than trees. Now, algae is really important. It actually grows in our oceans, lakes, rivers, and it produces half, if not more, of the oxygen inside the Earth's atmosphere. And what I have here is a small version of a CO2 scrubber, which works by injecting air into the water, then by using photosynthesis, which would be the sun actually hitting the algae, the CO2 is absorbed in the algae and then oxygen is then released out the top. Over time, we do get what's called a biomass that builds up at the bottom, but I'll show you what we're gonna do with that in future. So what I'm gonna do over a series of videos is show you a step-by-step -step guide how I'm gonna make multiple versions of these CO2 scrubbers. That's gonna range from the cheapest I can make it all the way to a version like this unit, which I'll make multiple ones of, and we'll run a series of tests with the different scrubbers. What I wanna do is reduce my CO2 output, and hopefully we can get it down to zero, if not go past that, so that I can actually remove more CO2 than what I'm generating every year. Now, not to say that planting trees isn't necessary, because it is. Trees offer a lot more than just the positive effects that it has against CO2. Like the effects on the soil it's planted in, and also the natural Natural habitation for wildlife. So you may not be able to build one of these CO2 scrubbers or you might not be able to plant trees in your backyard. But what you can do is head over to Team Trees and donate over there. So most of you should know by now, Team Trees is a collaborative fundraiser that for every $1 that you donate, the Arbor Day Foundation will plant one tree. They have reached their 20 million tree goal, which is great, but they also need to keep going. So make sure you get on there and donate what you can. All right, so make sure you subscribe to me so that you can follow me on this journey to become carbon neutral. We're gonna go through and sourcing all the materials with both the cheap and the larger scale options. How we put everything together, the test equipment we'll use, and the result. I've got to go and build more of these CO2 scrubbers, so make sure you watch the future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.